the excitement, the joy, the expectation that comes when you are just about to be a parent. Today, it's a special day. Which topic is it today? When you're about to be a parent. Just about to be a parent. Mm -hmm. Let's find out more. years ago they were expecting or they were excited to be parents today she's going to tell us more i don't know whether tabby as she comes in again richard is not with us but tabby has the knowledge the insight hey. understanding ah, and everything she's the about <laughs> nice. thank you thank Harry you thank you tabby 23 yeah. years ago yes you are expecting to be a parent yes is that such a long time it is yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I, it's, I can't even remember. Like, it's been so long. And that but is I thank God. why we <laughs> yeah. have Vera and Maurice. Oh, okay. They are just about to be parents. Oh, nice. So they are going to tell us Karibuni. what they're experiencing today. Mm -hmm. And Tabby is going to tell yeah, us 23 nice. years. Hi, Hi, Vera. Thank you, Hi, thank you so nice much. Bro, yes. thank, you. thank you for coming. Karibu. Good Karibu to see you, Vera. Kante. Good to see you. Thank you. Ah. It is an exciting moment know, for right? me. Yeah. <laughs> but let's sit down so that we can now share this excitement. I want to see where you were some, some, wow. some years ago. Hi, Vera and Morris. Hi. Hi. You, look good. you guys look good. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Shen. Shen is well. Mm, yeah, Shen is well. Yeah. Okay. Now, so you are just about to be parent. Ought to be a parent because now it is individual. I don't know how mm -hmm. Maurice feels, I don't know how Vera feels, but we will start with uh, Linda and uh, Tabby. Yeah, what does it mean to be a parent? Hey, to be a parent, I think it's a responsibility, mm -hmm. it's another title altogether. And when it's another title, it means there's something attached to it. Being a parent, it means that. Uh, you're not alone, you're adding someone else in your house or in your family. Mm. Yeah. And I, I was wondering, does it mean that it has to be a biological child uh, being yeah. a parent? I, 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 I love that. I love that. Yeah. Does it mean that being a parent is, has to do with expecting a child? Mm. Mm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. You mm. can be a parent and still not be a biological parent. Yeah. yeah. So some people say guardian. Yeah, but you can still be responsible. Everything that uh, a, a parent does, you're able to do. The only difference is just having the baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maurice and Vera, normally when we want to go for a vacation, and uh, this, this vacation is not going moving from uh, Kisumu to Oyugis, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but, <laughs> but traveling maybe to a far country. Uh, the weather, the climate, and everything there is different. There is that excitement. This is the journey. I don't know how it's gonna how be. is the excitement? Mm -hmm. Let me ask, are you prepared to be parents? It's a mixture of excitement yeah. and uh, <laughs> anxiety, I would yes. say so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. we've been taught to know that parenting is a noble call of its own type. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you are expecting uh, that that kind of feeling that comes the same way you getting married and somebody tells mm -hmm. you that being a husband is a special yes. call yes. Mm -hmm. so the same way we've been told being a parent is also a call of its own time mm -hmm. so we're excited we're going to be parents mm -hmm. we are anxious are we going to be a parents who are up to the task yeah. that, wow. that's a good that's mm -hmm. a good that's a good bit <laughs> vera yes caribou how is it uh I'd say it's an exciting experience. Imagining I'm carrying a human life. being, yeah. life <laughs> inside me. Life. And my prayer is just to become better parents than my parents. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Uh, and, and, and we are going to come to that. 
but uh, yes, you had that by the uh, way. Uh, at this point, when you're, you're like expecting, you try to imagine what your parents went through or what someone went through. Maybe she was your friend or someone gave you an experience. You're like, uh -huh. is it this way? I'm a, yeah, yeah it, it, there's a mixture of feelings. Mm. But yeah. at the end of the day, we thank God. My, my question is... Uh, <clears throat> Did you go through a counseling session before you be, for, I mean a counseling session of being a parent? Were you prepared? Of being a parent? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, we've not gone for any counseling session, yes, but when you were preparing for marriage, I believe the counseling session started when you were being counseled towards marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you're getting married, one thing you expect is that you will have children in the future. Yeah. So parenting was part of the counseling session when we were being counseled on marriage. Number two, uh, we believe that we are learning from the home of Christ. Yeah. We have friends like you are friends. We, you have children. We have seen you raising your, your daughters. Mm -hmm. I've seen you, you can... Tell them again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my parents raising my siblings now that I was the first born. Mm -hmm. I was like a deputy parent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. and I had responsibilities when mom could go. So mm. I was the one to remain with the siblings. Yeah. So I believe uh, I'm Somehow. prepared. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Amen. I, I like that bit. Maurice, would you want to add on to that? Uh, we are in a holistic church, mm. a church that leaves no beat uncovered. Yeah, mm. true, true. Even as we are coming up, it teaches you on what to expect in 20 years to come. Yeah, true, true. And so the church alone has been our counselor wow, all through. Amen. So we believe that uh, we have been well counseled through oh. the church and its precepts. Talking of the church, the parents and the friends, of course, during this process, you you pick what is good, huh? True. but mm -hmm. there are also these other bits that are not very good. We, we will also talk about that because right now we look at uh, marriages and uh, someone who is not married yet could be discouraged because of what they see. Mm -hmm. sure. But the others are encouraged because of what they see. I don't know. Um, our parents played a role they, they, they in our lives role. and Vera's just yeah. alluded to that <laughs> yeah and I know whether where, where we come from maybe whether it's a guardian or someone you had someone in life to guide you to direct you and I know most of the time we will we will only give what we we were able to receive mm -hmm. meaning if our background most of the time we'll parent as per what we received that is the at the back mm. yeah so that is your script so um when you came from a background that maybe there were some some things that they were doing ama were being done to you you will pick them definitely but i i believe that um just as we've said in our church there are a lot of books literature mm. that always guides us gives us a direction mm. Me, personally, I might be a failure. Maybe if you pick from me, emulating a character in me or something that I'm doing in my marriage, it's not workable to you. Mm. So um, in as much as we can learn from our environment, I think as we grow up, when we meet and form a family, that are some things that we'll need to unlearn and learn at the end of the day. Mm. Yeah. Apart from the books in my church, what is the Seventh-day Adventist church, I... I love I love my church because like we also have different classes right mm -hmm. for beginners I'm sure you're already getting into a class every Sabbath mm -hmm. yes so the church the child starts to grow <laughs> even when the child is in the womb mm -hmm. the child <laughs> starts to understand and know the different songs and different, you understand mm -hmm. so by the time the child is born church or God is not new to the child mm -hmm. yeah but parents play a key role yeah because they give you a, um like a pathway mm. yeah. yeah the parents of course yeah mm. yeah even though we we say that our parents are old school but we need to listen to them yeah. we also we also have role models oh yeah oh, yeah. 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 yeah we also have role models most of the time they're called best couple 
Right. <coughs> Some yeah. people think that best couples are just there to sign sign the certificate, no. be with you <laughs> during the wedding, Encourage. but they play a bigger role because yeah. maybe you could tell us what don't you don't have to mention Call their the name, names, yeah. but what were the characteristics? I mean, what are the some of these features that you're looking for? Because there are several couples out there, but you went for this yeah. this one. I, I believe they played a role Friendship, in your yeah, yeah. in your preparation to be parents. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Vera, uh, oh, let me start with Maurice. Thank you. Uh, there are these couples with uh, desirable reputations. Yeah. yeah. True. You look up to them. Mm. They convince you in their carry out, and so <laughs> you would admire that you raise children like theirs. You would admire that amidst the challenges of life. You crack them the way they do, right? Mm -hmm. So we would gladly say uh, they form part of those who shaped our our expectation of life of mm. the future. Mm. Thank wow. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you want to add something to that? Mm -hmm. Of course, before you choose a best couple, for me, the best couple you must be, have been friends yeah. yes. before yes. Mm. I like that. the marriage. Mm. Mm. So. Obviously, when you're friends, you know your friend you better. Can, yeah, you know true. the good traits that he has. You know how she lives in her family. Mm -hmm. And of course, I would want to take after her the way she lives in her family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Let's talk about family planning. You know, when I say family planning, you're probably wondering, what is this gentleman talking about <laughs> here? The family planning that I'm talking about is planning to be parents because you know now you're a family. It is important to plan, right? Mm -hmm. Did you plan? There are some that you don't plan. <laughs> 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 yeah. But, but psychologically, when, when someone gets married, what you expect by the, at the end of the day that God is going to bless you with children or a child. Mm. And you are prepared psychologically. Mm -hmm. Maybe like, one day if I have a child. But then it starts in your mind. You, you just imagine that baby. You start naming the baby, eh? mm -hmm. what kind of baby that you're going to raise. There are some traits already you're, you're, you're imagining, I, I want my child to be like this, like this, like this. So it all starts in your mind. Mm. So you get prepared, yes, psychologically it comes. You, you, Tabi, you'll agree with me that even the moment that you start dating, you already start the process that of parenting. That is true, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, you, you, you imagine, you... Of course, yeah, you think of the Picture. babies that you'll get, mm -hmm. you know. But of course, we know that babies are and a gift from God. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to make it clear. Mm -hmm. And I also want to make it clear that it's not a must. That when you're married, you have, you to, have, to, have to have yeah. kids. It's a blessing. You are still uh, complete, even without a child. Mm. Mm. That is very important. Yeah. Because someone, someone sitting somewhere is probably thinking... I've been married so for 10 years. But, yeah. but, and you know, there, 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 there are some people who have even been uh, chased out of, of their homes because yeah. they are not able mm. to. Because of the pressure and a lot of things that happen. But one thing they don't realize, you yeah. know, you might it chase me away, but the problem is you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but at the end of the day, it is God who gives. Exactly. It's so you're complete, you even without, yeah. you're complete even without... I think we need to add volume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're complete without a child. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's still a family. Is there anyone who wants to echo on that? You've just mentioned the part of psychological preparation. Mm -hmm. uh, every human has that template yeah. of what he wants to lead. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're going to school, you're saying um, after mm -hmm. secondary, I would desire to go to a polytechnic, yes. pursue my diploma. Yeah. Um, that's the same that happens with our mm -hmm. family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're figuring yeah. out, I would want to have two, and yes. they spaced in this manner. Yeah. So it's just that life takes a different twist it's sometimes. Oh. Your expectation is not, is not met. Mm. But the preparation to parenting starts psychologically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even before we talk about material yeah. preparation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before I got married, I, I was like, hey, I would wish to have five children. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not laughing. Yes, yeah. like two we girls and three boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am with one. <laughs> yeah, I am with one. And I thank God for him. The yeah, some, you, even, you even want to be specific Yes, the yes. Yeah, I would want only girls or boys or yes. mixture. These and you have a list of names. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. It's, mm. it's really nice. The yeah. other bit of planning is space. Sure. Have you considered space? Because now, you see, I like what Tabi said. 
and I would also want to echo it. You are complete, the two of you. Mm. Yes. God blesses. It's uh, Psalms 127. You, 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 will, you will read it. But it is God who plants, right? Mm -hmm. So even as that happens, now here you are, the two of you, and we can see that you are expecting uh, uh, someone else. Baby. Mm -hmm. so, so what, take us through these preparations. Before now, we come back to the actual now, um, the period, let me say the pregnancy period. Because it also comes with its challenges. Yeah. So we are, going, we are also going to talk about these challenges. But now the planning bit. Hey, here we are. We are ready. Now, or rather, we are getting ready. Take us through. Well, uh, uh, one, I would say, besides the psychological preparation, as the other mentioned, there's the material preparation. Mm -hmm. At our little capacity as a couple, we are believing we have put up what it takes to give our our guest the best, mm. uh, we are expecting that this is going to curtail some of our freedom that we were enjoying earlier on, mm -hmm. and uh, we are also geared towards devoting the fullest uh, energy towards his upbringing. Mm. Uh, if I just comment about something you earlier on mentioned, uh, you know there is we have not been parents before. Yeah. And sometimes we are thinking that we are going to approach this this way. But the real experience comes yeah, with, them, they, with a different you. lesson. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That tells you that, hey, what you plan is really not the way to go. <laughs> and so you change your perception yeah. and say, oh, no, yeah. let the second one come after four years or so. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So I'm, I'm also believing that uh, the, the first guest is going to inform future preparations yeah. as well as <laughs> I have a nurse friend of mine who, oh, God bless you, the, the first baby. And she, she's a nurse, you know. Mm. She's in the medical world and she knows the right things to do. And she's like, oh, you know what, after about, God willing, uh, we would, we, we'll be ready uh, to have another baby in the next five years. Guess what? Less than a year later, less than a year later, they were also expecting a baby. Mm. She's like, now, She's the one who tells people like what to do, and mm. here she was. Mm. When she was not prepared, she got another one. That's when we say God has a sense of humor. <laughs> Vera, yes. yeah, God has a sense how of is your preparation like? Someone somewhere wants to know what they need to do or what they expect. Uh, I'll just take on what Maurice has said. First, before we decided to have the baby, we sat down as a couple and said, you know, it's now time, eh? We, we bring in a guest. Oh. Amen. Yes, it mm. just doesn't come like that. Mm. You mm. sit, the two of you, and decide that now it's time. That's true. We, we are now ready. We are now ready. <laughs> <laughs> because it comes with a lot of challenges. Hey, you but then you, you need to get prepared. Yes. Oh, then two, materialistic, as he said also. So... We need to prepare financially, you know. Mm -hmm. Even God doesn't like when you bring somebody into the yes. world and mm -hmm. you bring him or her to suffer. To be a burden. Yes, to mm -hmm. be a burden. God is so a God of God. Mm -hmm. You prepare psychologically, mm -hmm. you prepare financially, mm -hmm. so that the guest might must be also comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so Vera is confirming this 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 myth that. Mutoto anakuja na sanya. We need to prepare for that yeah, plate. For the plate. <laughs> yes. Yes. So she has also confirmed and and uh, <coughs> the mental and emotional yeah, it's important. preparedness. Mm. But they, do you know what? You need to get prepared. Because if you're not ready, what, you, what you're going to do to yourself is going to harm the baby. Mm. Yeah. Especially if you really didn't want the pregnancy, by the the child will be affected. Yeah. So you mm. need to get prepared. Even if it comes, say that, God, please give me the grace. Yeah. Because from conception, your child is able to, to, to react and to have memories of mm. what you're going through, the feelings that you're going through, you do it to the baby. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now that uh, Maurice is now no longer is going to be called Maurice, but will have another title, yeah. how does it feel? <laughs> she she will stop probably she'll at some point sometimes people think that it's not it's not romantic when i call linda mama casey mm -hmm. what does that mean uh 
depends. You are going to be Baba depends, somewhere. Depends on the two of you. Uh, Baba somebody is beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Baba somebody is very beautiful. There are many of us who are desiring to become Baba somebody. Mm. God forbid that does not mean that they are not so blessed. God no. has blessed us mm. in all capacities. Yeah, I like that. And just before I forget, Linda brought the aspect of girls, boys. Mm. Uh, there is no gender that is lesser. That yeah. is a lesser blessing. Like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, whatever comes, our expectation is mm. so is a gift of Healthy God. Healthy baby. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. Okay, Vera. Wow. <laughs> I was trying to avoid the question of, are you expecting a boy or a girl? <laughs> <I know. laughs> but Vera, now you can take it up. <laughs> uh, it's a choice. For me, whatever God we will know. give me. We'll yes. know. We I'll, I'll, take, I'll take it with both hands. Yes. 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 That, that's that's mm. good answer. Mm. Okay. But then do you know that uh, the, 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 the nini of gender sometimes affects even ladies? So many. Mm. Not sometimes. Not, not, not only ladies. Yeah, when, when, when I really want a boy, and maybe God decides to give me this other gender. Mm. You know, this child is going to grow with that mentality. Because you, you did it when you're... It, it's something special that happens that... I don't know how God created. Maybe when we go to heaven, we'll ask. About what? The connection of your pregnancy, your yeah. mental uh, and stability, stability connected to the baby. Mm. So when, when a woman is expecting, I think that's the, the time that even the husband should give the, the most support. M Morris mm. is a biology teacher. Maybe yes. he can explain <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> he can tell us a little so bit about that. We will know what, what God did. So the connection and whatever your feelings are, are transferred to the baby. Maurice, so do you agree we with model, that? We model the children Let, let from Maurice agree with us. Uh, that, that's true. Science says there is a connection between the mental, the spiritual, yeah. and all faculties of life. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. not only science, our inspiration also confirms yes. the same. Yes. Mm. Yes. That yes. when the mental is jeopardized, yeah. the physical Imagine. is sympathizing. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah. And so there is a very good connection created yeah. between the mental... Uh, I need to write that. Uh, yes. <laughs> 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 when the mental... Yeah. Jeopardize. Is jeopardized. Uh, physical gets, uh, <laughs> yeah. sympathizes. Uh, that, that is important. And yeah. So there is a great okay. connection created between the mother and the baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but so even what you eat sure. is affecting mm -hmm. the baby. What you sure. watch, what you what listen everything to. you take affects no wonder, the baby. No wonder it is. Samson's mother mm -hmm. was given instructions, is given instructions yes. on how that to... You should not do this. You right, do this. right. Have you been given instructions <laughs> by yes. your, your your gynecologist and, and your nutritionist? What, and of course, yeah. your biology <laughs> teacher, and the, and husband. And the She's in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> she has no excuse. She has no excuse. And of course, the word of, of God. Mm. Anyway. Yes. Mm. Yeah, those, those, those are all part. part the, you, you, yeah. it's, it is coming clear. That Tabby, this is something that is not just... It's a, not a joke. It's not a walk in the yeah. park. It is something that you have to... I like the, mm. the, 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 I, the fact that Vera said, they sat down and said, hey, mm. now it's I am time. physically, emotionally, prepared. and mentally prepared yeah. to have a baby. Sure. We have case, we've had cases, Tabby, where very young girls get pregnant they go through this pregnancy with a lot of difficulty. Yeah. yeah. And, the children, and they once the child is born, yeah. it's like you... Yeah, you see that baby. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. there are some who break down because of too much pressure. Mm. He was not ready for it and it's here. Mm. Some even have tried like abortions, but they backfire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they have to live with this guilt and yeah. it's, it's heavy. Yes. Yeah. And then they suffer from it called post postpartum depression depression yeah where the mother just rejects the child yeah yeah, yeah. she was not ready because now you know like a 15 16 year old rejects the baby because now even the body yeah. the physical and the mental Physically, that we are talking yeah. about here not was not prepared yeah, yeah so what advice would you want to give to such people tabby to the young Mm -hmm. I think it is important to still get support system mm -hmm. so that, hey, you're, you are 15 years old and you're pregnant. You're not the first. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you won't be the last. Just open up. Get, even if it's, if it's a pastor get or counseling. somebody you look up to, talk to them and let them know, hey, this is what I'm going through. If that person talks to them well, I'm sure they will end up accepting. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the baby is already there. Mm. And, you know, 
you have to look for a way forward. Okay. That Get somebody that needs counseling. We, we, yeah. we, we are coming back to that. We are just trying to make, uh, to, to create a very proper support yeah. for this team and even for you back at home. We are coming back after this short break. Thank you for staying tuned for the second bit. We are just about to be parents. And uh, in case you're joining us, we are uh, talking about the preparations, uh, the expectations, and the excitement of becoming parents. And it, the, indeed, we have realized that parenting or becoming a parent is a process. True. It's something that requires planning. Mm -hmm. It's something that requires Time, Vera and Morris, I, I want to take you back a little bit. Um, you did mention that you were not, you never went for counseling. But in this case, I'm sure that there, there are questions that you must have asked someone. There are things that you have seen in your best couple, in your friends, and even in your parents. Some of them are positive. Some of them are negative. What are some of these things that you not want your child to have? <laughs> Thank you. I will mention a few. Mm. Uh, she happens to be a teacher of young children mm. and has an experience with a wide range of habits. Mm. She'll mention more than me. Yeah. But uh, one, I would start with the, what I wouldn't want my child to learn. Mm. Uh, the 21st century child is a unique one. Mm. We were raised by parents who were so harsh and uh, we knew the do's and don'ts, mm. though not written. Mm. <laughs> but today the liberty is, has given um, so diverse rights that children just grow anyhow. Mm. I would desire that I raise a God-fearing child who knows how to respect the elderly. Mm -hmm. So I would not want my child to be dis dis disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Number two, I will not want my child to be a friend of toys and plays more and than TV. he is and TVs. Mm -hmm. and today's children are, are known to be soothed by the games, games. Mm -hmm. the right? Games, yeah. uh, well, I may not live up to that, but I, that's my yeah. desire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my desire. Um, and and you, you, you guys will tell us about this effect of TV with children. Yeah, sure. Go on. Uh, there are, there are good things I learned about the background I was raised. And mm -hmm. I don't believe that perhaps I might have not been raised by my biological parents. Mm -hmm. I don't believe I didn't get the best. Mm -hmm. I actually got the best. And mm -hmm. if there is anything negative I read from the parent who raised me, it was to shape me to something. Yeah. Yes. So it has made me grow to know uh, the best to give my child. Mm -hmm. And um, just to take you back on what you said, uh, during our marital counseling, we were being Concerned about yeah. parenting too. Mm -hmm. So we are hoping that uh, we get the best children. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Vera? Now that you teach children. <laughs> <laughs> of course, uh, nobody would want to have a, a bad mm -hmm. child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We only imagine of our ch children having good Manners. character mm -hmm. traits. Exactly. exactly. And uh, as he said, maybe uh, by back then we could see our parents doing some things and we feel like uh, we, mm. they are too harsh. Mm. Mm. But uh, we believe there is no parent who wants something bad for the child. Mm. So whatever they did then was to shape us mm. to the positive and that's why we are here today. Mm -hmm. And so I deal with kids a lot. and. Uh, People, children come from different backgrounds mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they come with different characters in school, but I would want my child to only possess the good characters, as you said, disrespectful, mm. uh, especially this issue of mobile phones, mm. watch out the TV, mm. where we are in church yeah. and the child wants your attention 
and because you want to listen to the sermon, to <laughs> yeah, yeah. and play games. Oh. So the child will grow knowing that when you go to church, the only thing we do is yeah. play games. Play games. Mm. And you've seen it in church, most children, mm. yeah. every child with a phone. Yes. So I'd want my child to grow spiritually, to concentrate more on the spiritual aspect than the worldly aspect. What, what percentage of parents do you think are affected with this phone thing? And nowadays it's so... What percentage? The percentage hmm. is so With the phone? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that you should uh, ask a question like, how many parents don't have phones? <laughs> yeah, because you know, actually, it's true. Yeah. yeah, many parents have yeah. these smartphones. Mm. So I, I really cannot say which percentage, but it's a higher percentage. Yeah. Very high. Mm. There, there is something we really have to deal with so strongly. Mm. Yeah. Is it true that parents are the first books the child has to read? True. Yeah. And sometimes we, are, we have embraced this anti-socialism, where mm. we are in the house the and everyone is on the phone. Yeah. Mm. And mm. so the, chil the children are also seeing that the only solace is on the phone. Mm. Mm. So she would also want the attention of that phone. And nowadays mm. they even bought for phones. You remember yeah. us when you were growing mm. up? The first phone we had when uh, after our secondary school. <laughs> <laughs> but but again, yeah. you have to, uh, yes, as much as we are really quick to blame the parents, but some parents really uh, get paid because they have to be on online. So it's not like when you're online, you just like on social whatever platforms. Mm -hmm. So a child might not understand that, hey, yeah. my daddy is right now making money. So we might be doing that, but without knowing. Mm. Yeah, I don't blame all parents, but some, it's just, you can't help it. But it is, yeah. it is also important to create some time. Yes, of course, yeah, yeah definitely. That does not oh. mean you don't create time for your child. Yeah. Now, yesterday, as uh, we were just, all of us, the four of us, sitting in the living room, then our daughter switched on the TV. This, <laughs> which channel was that? It's a channel that talks riddles, to, riddles yeah. you know, they, they ask you questions and then mm. they give you a few seconds to answer and then they give you the right one. Yeah. We enjoy doing it. Yeah. But yesterday we just said, why don't we just have one day, yeah, we, we switch, we switch off, off the TV mm. and then we just talk. Yeah. Yeah. Then we all agreed and switched off the TV mm. and the conversation was beautiful. Wow. Yeah, I think it, it needs also guidance. Yeah. Even if we can't avoid it, by the way, because right now even the CBC mm. thing, you have to. They, yeah, you, you need to do to search for what I don't yeah. know. You need to to research on something, so they need to use the phone. So, but I think if it has some boundaries, mm -hmm. I think it's workable. Yeah. Mm. So it's it's a matter of we are, we are being told that we train children. Eh? Yeah. Mm. So training meaning like when you there's there's something I'll, I'm going to read here. How to set limits just, and just boundaries it, yeah. right for, for the children. Mm. You, you need to teach them. Mm. You need to tell us which book that is. On the um, this, this book is called The Family Book by Karen. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's wonderful. So let me, let me say something first before I read that okay. other bit. Go ahead. When we are raising children, when God blesses us and he wants us to have a family, God blesses you in that family to help shape children yeah. who are going to be for the kingdom. Yeah. Now they say words are powerful. Like I will always repeat this thing, yeah. that words are powerful. Yeah. So we are being told that when we are raising children, parents' words are very powerful yes, they make the in helping a child develop. Mm. So when you are having children or you are expecting a child, if you're not someone who is kind, you need to train yourself to, to be, be kind. kind. So these are the, the things that we need to do. You use, you praise and appreciate much more, more. Mm. than criticizing or nagging. Mm. Don't keep on nagging. And when you praise, praise the child for doing something right or encourage them. Mm. Let's not be parents who keep on discouraging the child. No, this one you didn't do it well. No, you can't do it or you see. Those kind of words. Just, so yeah. words are very powerful. So we need to choose our words as parents mm. when you're raising children. So they say, do not let your child. There is something that always happens. When you go to the supermarket, it happens a lot. There is a time I was in a supermarket and I saw this parent with a child. I don't know. The child wanted some chocolate and the mom said no. The child decided to roll. Yeah, tantrums. Yeah. Mm. Throw tantrums. Yeah. Yeah. And the mom was like, 
Mama, what do you want? Just go and pick it. You see, this child has, has, has mastered the art of throwing tantrums to get what they want. Yeah. But they say, don't let your child control you take you to that position where you compromise. So it says, don't let your child grow up thinking that the only way to get your attention is to do something wrong. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as parents, we need, that, that brings us to the point of setting the limits and mm -hmm. the boundaries. Mm -hmm. Let me read something okay. about it. As, How, as, as you read that, mm -hmm. there is something that is coming up in my mind. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Can a good parent give birth to a bad child? And How vice versa. <laughs> uh, that is See funny. The, yeah. the child is born with a, with a, with a clean slate. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, what informs the personality uh, so is the true. environment. Mm -hmm. true. The first environment Very is true. the house. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perhaps he learned about the art of throwing tantrums because I threw tantrums when I was not prepared yeah. for my best soup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So she knew that uh, for mommy to get this out of daddy, of she got to that be dramatic. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the first environment informs. Mm -hmm. I would dare say that God has given us the grace of growing to be good children out of bad parents, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. if true, that is true, mm -hmm. because of other parents in our life, mm -hmm. in, in the name of teachers, yeah. mo role models, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm still convinced <laughs> it takes a good parent to raise a good child. And uh, God can give the grace of yeah. a good child to come out of a bad parent yeah. from another yes, parent. True, mm. true, true. So if we can't be good parents to our own children, we can also be good parents to other children mm. who are seeing us in the name of role models. Mm. And at times you, it, it reaches a point you've done your best, but the child turns out to be the way they are. As long as you've done your part, mm. I know God is always... Maybe God wants you to learn something from that situation mm. and that circumstance. And I, I think so. for that child to start throwing tantrums, you know when this started? In the womb. <laughs> 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 yeah. Why? Because that is when the child starts to control you. Oh, I just want to eat beans and rice every hour. Yeah. Or I feel like taking, how do you call those stones? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's some stones that pregnant women really love. Right. So every morning, Vera, I'm just giving an example of you, you're not doing it. Every <laughs> morning, Vera has to wake up and go and whatever, take, dig the stones and eat. Why? Because the baby is controlling. The baby is already controlling Vera. Of course, you'll say that there's something that Vera lacks in the body. Iron. Iron. Mm. So if Vera lacks iron, really, does Vera have to just go for the stones? Do we have another plan B? <laughs> to get there are yeah. foods. There are foods. You have the books exactly. here that, 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 that can will, give yes. so an a baby, expectant. Yeah, like Vera, here. Vera, make sure you talk to Tabby <laughs> to give you to that give book. To give the right book. Yeah. Now, Healthy and strong. Tabby, even as we are still on that, yeah. and uh, I'm glad the way uh, Maurice has, 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 has answered the question of a bad parent bringing forth a good child. There are parents who would want to give their children who would want to, uh, yes, give their children the, 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 the blueprint based on another child. Mm. Right, mm. which is wrong. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? I want you to be like so and so. Mm -hmm. You see, so and so has done this, so and so has done this. What is the danger in doing that? It makes your child lack, uh, have low self esteem. Mm -hmm. Really, I am my own me. Mm -hmm. But you can't, you can't be the other person. You can never be. Yeah. We are all we are special, unique. unique. Mm -hmm in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. The best way is a parent to believe in this child and give the child the best, you know, like, I cannot tell Shane to be like Dave. Mm -hmm. What do I want in Shane? I want him to be God-fearing, I want him to be hardworking, I want him to be obedient. Why don't I take the Bible and give him, hey, this is how God wants us to, and it will be better. Because, hey, if I tell him to be like Dave, tomorrow Dave is going to err. Mm -hmm. Then, and when I he errs, he'll be like, yeah, but mom, you wanted me to be like Dave. Mm -hmm. I believe you can talk to the child. Yeah. Talk to the child. Have a conversation. Yeah, have a conversation with the child. Mm -hmm. They listen. And what you can do is give the positive, affirm. When, when they do something, right. tell them. But they will just pull right. up to that character that you want. Mm. Yeah. I like uh, what you does. I, I also want Vera to, to, to respond to this. Now that you have children in your class, and there is number one, 
and there is the other number one mm. if you start nowadays from now I'm um, yes I'm told nowadays they, they mm. don't, don't rank children mm. but based on their I don't Watching want to uh, ba based on their intellectual ability I don't mm. want to talk about that yeah. I just want to talk about based on their morals mm. there is this one that is just good mm. there is this other one that is just there anything bad it's a nana if a child is crying <laughs> who is crying before you ask yeah that's a nana. Yeah. so you want this child not to be like a nana but you don't want to put it yeah. so that a nana looks bad yeah mm. <laughs> you want <laughs> you want your child by the way what's the name of the baby you expected ouch <laughs> <laughs> Both names. Names. Yeah, they do. And they even they say, if it's a boy, then we are going to give the name. We are going to give this name if it's a girl. And of course, I I, I recognize the fact that you mentioned that you you are ready, ready for, yeah, for, for any ready gender, for. Mm. and and that is mm. a plus and, yeah, to you because it, it, it people, people reject yeah. mm. Mm. parents, especially mothers, reject their children. Mm. So I want you to maybe respond on this how do you now deal. deal with this child yet in your mind you already have a standard you're not mentioning it or, you, or, or you're mentioning it but you have a standard already how old i would or she doesn't understand morris you, you <laughs> <laughs> now before that i just wanted to comment a little about mm. what what Linda just said. Mm. Uh, how do I feel when my wife compares me to another husband? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. It's the same way my baby would feel mm. when I compare him to another baby. Another, mm. yes. So comparison is not good. Yeah. Especially yeah. if the comparison is towards the negative. Towards the negative. negative. Sure. Yeah. Like you should behave like yeah. sure. yes. Mm. Number two, there is something I was taught called labeling, labeling theory. Mm. You tell a child wewe ni malenge, he would grow to, to be a malenge. malenge. Oh. You tell a child, engineer so and so, I like how you're doing it, he will oh. live to do yeah. a better version of what he did. Mm. So at times, the label the child the right way. Mm. Um, there is something we have that, that, that the modern life has brought called delegated parenting. Mm. Perhaps the discussion is heading there, but uh, a number of our children grows to be what we don't want mm. because yes. we delegated parenting. Yeah. Mm. And somebody just challenged me recently. There is a car you can't give someone to drive, sure. mm. even your best friend. Mm. Yeah. That should be the same case with the child. With your mm. child. Yeah. You should not delegate the duty of parenting to someone else. That yeah. is your most expensive car. It's very important. Mm. So you, you give your child to somebody you don't know, but you lock your bedroom. But you lock your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which is more important. <laughs> and, sure. and, and even as we talk about delegation, Vera, you are a teacher, mm -hmm. and sometimes you're given these children. Do you find it difficult to deal with a child in school, but this is not replicated back at home? Very difficult. Mm -hmm. mm. Especially now, most of our parents, I don't know, it's because of the economic situation. Yes. Most of our parents tend to be very busy, mm. and they don't even know what their child yeah. are. Mm. If you tell her, for example, Anana, I tell you, you know, Anana did this, mm. and you're like, no, yeah, mm. that can't be. My that, baby. that is not my yeah. my my girl, mm. and you know, it's us who spend most of the time yeah, with them. True, true, true. Like most of the day, it's me who is with Anana. Yeah. Mm. So it's good that, as we said before, spend time with your children, yeah. mm. know your child. Yes. And then when 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 when, like the teachers do their part the parents have to do the same so that maybe a virtue is instilled. Mm. But if it's only one part that is doing, and definitely... And the teacher can also kill this, the, make the child's self-esteem. Yeah. True. Because you ask that question. Mm. Mm. Yes, if, at, if for example, Anana is giving, if I'm a teacher, for example, I'm, I, I, I know some, most of the teachers, not all of you, <laughs> not you. Uh, if my child is slow in class and another child is not slow, they will concentrate on the child who is faster in learning mm -hmm. is that the right term mm -hmm. and so that means the child my slow child will not even grow you know so teachers also have a way of making a child self it's a calling uh, as you make a comment I, I, I also want you to make a comment on discipline discipline yeah and of course uh, 
even in church mm. when you and and we need also to understand what discipline is mm -hmm. correcting a child in love correcting a child whether in love or correcting a child you know there are corrections that if i see a child going to touch a socket with yeah. and uh, you know i cannot say baby talk no. up mm. <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't mean also <laughs> <laughs> A job is a blessing, and we thank God for jobs. Yeah. Yeah. A property is a blessing, and we thank God for the same. And whenever you get a job, there, there are opportunities it would curtail you from. And I would wish we would realize the fact that getting a child also curtails you from some privileges. Mm. Um, when it comes to disciplining the child, there is a child I love in my class. Mm. When she's corrected, however painful the correction is, she would always say, thank you, teacher. Wow. And uh, it starts from home. Mm. It starts from home. Mm. Uh, sometimes we, as parents, we don't even know how to say sorry. Mm. Something yeah. just goes amiss, and we don't apologize to our couples. Mm. The child does not know the value of apologizing. Mm. And uh, even apologizing to the, parent, to the child is very necessary. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you and you think that is a genuine uh, wrong doing, mm. just go say, hey, daddy, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm. He will also be apologetic next yeah. time. Mm. So we are the template. We live what we want our children to be. Mm. And there is no way we want to remain with our eyes open when people are praying. And you expect the child the to know how to close exactly. the eyes when people are praying. Mm. So it starts from us. Mm -hmm. We be disciplined, they'll be disciplined, and it's easy when we correct them to be, they'll know that dad is disciplined mm. and he wants me to be like him. Okay. Wow. Tabi, what would be your advice to this couple that is expecting a child, this couple that is not expecting a child because of reasons or circumstance, they non, known or unknown, what would be your advice? I, um, I'll start with the one who is not expecting a child. Blessings come um, at different times mm -hmm. and um, various blessing might not be my blessing yeah. your blessing might not be my blessing and God trusts us with every blessing that he gives us so if you are there watching and you have not been blessed with a child uh, there are many children that you can be a parent to and you can be a role model to so it's never too late even as you wait on the Lord you can be, you can even adopt, you can be, adoption does not literally mean you go to the adoption center. Mm -hmm. You can even adopt your niece or nephew and be a, a parent. And for that parent who is expecting a child, please, you have to pray all the times. You have to eat right and you have to uh, try to be kind because it comes back to the baby. Thank you. Yeah. Maurice, your... Uh, uh, just one statement. Uh, a number of Days ago, there are those friends who would be like, hey, should we expect something? Mm. And I would really want to advise yeah. that uh, go to that extent of yes. asking a couple, when mm. should we expect? Surely. Mm. If you're very close to them. Yeah. Mm. I believe there are some of us who are dealing with problems of childlessness yeah. back yeah. then. And mm. it's because of medical condition. Mm. It's because of something they can't correct. Yeah. And every time you ask them, hey, when are we expecting? Breaks their mm -hmm. heart. You're pricking some wound. Mm. Mm. So go to that extent if I'm so close to you yeah. and ask you, when do we expect? Mm. Uh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> I, that Powerful. is to be kind. Wow. Yeah. Powerful. Vera? Uh, I'll support what you have said. You know, we were married, we were, it's now one year, five months. Sure. And the first year, people were like, hey, wow. Vera. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you know, you'll find a couple who have battled yeah. some, yeah. Mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. in the past. And mm -hmm. it also, also comes to marriage, mm -hmm. yeah. where you have a friend who is not married. Mm -hmm. like, yes, when? Unazeka. Mm Changamka. -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, so and maybe somebody yeah. has had a series of heartbreaks in the yes. past. Still healing. So please, we learn, we learn to accept each other in the society. Yeah. And instead of asking like that, go on and kneel and pray exactly. for that person. Yes. Thank you. Wow. Briefly. Parenthood is a blessing. Mm. And when God gives you the opportunity of being a parent, remember he's counting on you. You are human being, mm. yes, you can mm. err. 
but give your children the blueprint of the Bible. Mm -hmm. That's true. And you'll never go wrong. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. There you have it. Very good information coming from these beautiful people. Remember, uh, it is um, parenting is it comes from God. Mm -hmm. It is planned. You need to prepare emotionally. Yeah. We also need to recognize that children are different. Yes. If you have them, treat them as such. Mm. Don't compare your children. Mm. There is also the element of discipline that is coming out strongly that whenever we see something wrong, it is important to correct that child in, mm. the, in, in a beautiful way. Mm. Thank you so much, Vera and uh, Morris, for coming. Psalms 127, yes. Three, it says, Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord and a fruit of the womb in his reward. Amen. That confirms it, that children are a heritage yeah. from the Lord. They are a blessing, blessing yeah. from the Lord. Yeah. So whenever you see a couple taking their time, please Be give kind. them time. Mm. Because it is parenting, they are preparing. Mm. Thank you, and see you again for the next episode. This is Family Times. Mm.